everybody. It's Trelana and Sharita and our special friend. Hey. He's back. Darius is here <laughs> for another month of worship live sessions. Yes. We are so excited to be here again. Uh, I know we missed last month, but we're back in action this yes. month. And um, thank you guys for just continuously, you know, being with us and praying with us and worshiping with us. So we have no idea what we're going to do. So <laughs> why don't we go ahead and pray and ask the Lord what he wants. Yes. All right. So, Lord, we just give you praise. We give you honor. We give you glory. We thank you for your presence, which is already here inside us in the room, Lord God. We thank you, Holy Spirit, that you said that you never leave us or forsake us. Yes, Lord, that you, you you said that you would guide us if we acknowledge you, Lord God. So direct our paths yes, today. Lord. We have no idea where you want to go yet, <clears throat> but we know that you are going to uh, download the right songs, Lord God, that are going to minister not only to our hearts, but to those who are watching. And so have your way. We, um, we release this to you, God. Thank you, Father. It is something that you've given us, and we give it back to you now. Thank you, God. And we ask Thank that you Lord. do with it what you will. It's like the five fish and the loaves of bread. Lord God, we place it in your hand and let you multiply yes, it. God. For you know the fruit that um, will come from it, Lord God. You know the blessings that will come from it. You know the deliverance and the salvations or whatever else, the encouragement that will come from mm -hmm. this worship set, God. So we don't, we, don't, we don't sit here and say we know exactly what to do, Lord God. We acknowledge you in all of our ways Thank you, Father. and let you direct our paths, God. Have Thank your Jesus. way today in this set in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus.
you're always moving and you're always renewing and you're always restoring us, oh God, from the inside out, God. And we recognize that you never stop working at us, oh God. You never leave us and you never forsake us, oh God. And we give you praise for that today, God. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, you never stop. Thank you, Jesus. You never stop. You never stop. You never stop. You never stop.
Alright guys, so unfortunately, <laughs> in the hot heatedness of our worship experience, the camera cut off, wow. but it's okay, because we had such an encounter with God, and we just want to share what happened <laughs> during this whole thing, if anybody want to jump in, because I know I got stuff. <laughs> I'll just share some of the scriptures that I was hearing as you guys were ministering to the Lord in song. One of them was... Um, Part B of Revelations 2 verse 4, and it was saying, Nevertheless, I have this one thing against you, that you have left your first love. And I heard the Lord saying, Remember your first love. Don't get so caught up in working for him that you forget to work with him. Mm, First yeah. Thessalonians 5, 23 and 24, and this is something that I was meditating on this morning. It says, Now may the God of peace himself sanctify you completely and may your whole spirit soul and body be preserved blameless at the coming of the lord jesus christ yes he who calls you is faithful who also will do it um and then i i started thinking about as you guys were singing about being a friend of god how did moses become a friend of god in Exodus 33 and 11, so the Lord spoke to Moses face to face as a man speaks to his friend. He would go there and meet with God, and it was a place secluded enough and intimate enough for him to have conversations with the Lord. There we go. Yes. <laughs> on point. Yeah. And then I was, I was hearing you guys as you guys were singing about just being a, a royal priesthood. And us being seated with him in heavenly places. And we are seated with Jesus. And we are the royal priesthood. Because Jesus is our priest. And he offered an atonement for our sins. And the thing that I thought was interesting about that is that he was the only priest that was able to sit after he made his sacrifice. Because the priests, they stood when they were in the holies of holies. Yeah. And they 
they weren't able to sit down because their work was continually going. Mm -hmm. But Jesus sat down. He finished the work. <laughs> Once they brought. Yes. And then he said, come on, friends. Y'all come sit with me. Yes. So I thought that was so mm. good. That's, That's so good. good. Thank you. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Wow. Oh. oh, my gosh. Hallelujah. Mm. I, you know, it... <laughs> Like we said, when we first started, we had no idea where we were going, had no idea what we were going to sing. So we know that none of this was concocted of our own, you know, this was literally the leading of the Holy Spirit. And it's just, it, it was, it was such a beautiful give and take, this whole thing, because we were acknowledging Jesus and just calling his name and lifting him higher. And then on the flip side of that, he had his hand extended. He said, like you just said, come sit with me. Remember, you're supposed to be seated with me in heavenly places. You're supposed to be at the, in this place where you're above the enemy. You don't have to fight them on your own. Spirit, like the whole spiritual warfare thing is so off because we are supposed to be above. We're supposed to recognize who we are when we're seated with Jesus. We don't have to fight. He fights Not our battle. Not stooping down to the enemy's level. Right. Correct. Yes. Because right. you, get, you, you get beat up every time. Yes. Okay. <laughs> but it was also, he was he was reaffirming that, like you say, in friendship, what Moses did, he spoke face to face. It was this give and take. It's not, I just give to you, Lord, my worship, but there's something that he needs from us too. And he wants to experience friendship of walking this life, our lives with, with him, you know? And he just kept affirming that over and over again today there was a place that we went when we when we started talking about seated being seated we were there yeah. i yeah. saw that yeah. and there was this peace yeah it was just like you know how like when you're in an airplane and everything is clear all of a sudden it might be raining and stuff in the city you just left when you get up into the skies it's like yeah. it's like that picture yeah. there's just peace yeah. and there's joy and there's just this is what it's supposed to be like. Like, there's no chaos right now, you know? Yeah. It was so yeah. good. It was such a beautiful exchange, just singing straight to him, mm -hmm. just loving on him and then hearing him love on us back. It was just, that was unreal. And we hate that part of that was not captured. I know. <laughs> Maybe it was so just for us. That was too much. It was really good, but. <laughs> but then that whole I am. Oh. Mm. Yeah. So yeah. hopefully that made it because uh, <laughs> there were songs that came out of that. There were songs that came out of this, yeah. yeah. Oh, man. I hope that got caught. Yeah. Um, but he was just saying, like, literally, I am. Everything else can pass away. Yeah. And life as you know it can pass away, and I will still be here. So we don't have to anchor ourselves in anything else but him, and we will make it. And I wrote it. down here, during while you guys were singing that part, I put um, from the scripture, Revelation 1, verses 8, it says, I am he who is, who was, and who is to come. Mm -hmm. And I also wrote a couple of other I am's while you were singing, I am the Lord who calls you by name, Isaiah 43. I am the Lord who has sent you, Revelation 3 and 4. I am Yahweh. Okay, come on now. And he brings things, whatever it is in existence, he brought it into existence. And that's pretty much what I am, Adonai means I am the Lord. Yeah. So I just was sitting here just looking at the I am's of God. Oh my gosh. Mm. The I am's of God. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. And then he turned around and said, but you are. Yeah. yeah. And so then towards the end it was like, that scripture that says, lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be lifted up, ye everlasting doors. Yeah. He's saying, you are the gates. You are the doors. Yeah. And when you put the whole thing together, like what we were saying, we started off with this song, one thing have I desired of the Lord, and that will I seek. Yeah. To behold the beauty of the Lord. What is it? Um, to inquire in his yeah, temple. His temple. Yeah. And we are his temple. We look to church buildings and organizations to do it. He is here within us. We are his body. We are the church. We're the bride. Sharita said earlier, he is the bridegroom. And we're the bride. Yeah. And a lot of times we don't even look at what that 
that's a whole different level yeah. of relationship there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And why would God not be a part of that form of love? Yeah. You know? But aside from that, he was just like, listen, you are the gates. And and when we think about it, if he's on the inside of us, he has to flow out from us in order to affect the world. You know what I'm saying? And so he said, lift up your heads, O ye gates, you guys. Be lifted up, ye everlasting doors, that the king of glory shall come in to the earth to do what we want God to do everything. We want him to be sovereign, but he chooses to work with us. He chooses to have send the Holy Spirit to like do his work within us, to transform us by the renewing of our minds and all of this so that we can become the image of Christ here now today. It's so good. <laughs> we can't do that in our own strength. We need him and he needs us and we partner together. I know you got stuff, Darius. <laughs> Mr. Mr. Profile. <laughs> <laughs> it was just a worship experience that I've been encountering for that I've been longing for a long time. You know, just to be in his presence. Not to not know one song, but to, to know that he was singing through me and he was like, all you have to do is just hold my hand, just touch the hem of my garment, just hold me and embrace me and I'll and, and, and the worship flows because it's already in you. Oh yeah. And it flows yeah. out of you. Mm-hmm. And that's what happened. Mm-hmm. You know, and, and you never understand what being a true worshiper is. It's more than just singing. Yeah. It's about it can you talk to him? Can yeah. you pray? Can you can fellowship you with him? Can you be his friend? Yeah. yeah. Do you know what that friendship is? You don't know what true friendship is unless you're a friend of God. Right. And he's a friend right. of yours. Yeah. You know, I love him because he first loved me. You know, right. that, that is a friend. You know, and, and, and when I when I said that verse of who who am I that to be mindful that yes. you are thinking of me. Right, right. Yeah. yeah. That you hear me when I call. We're so focused on other people here. Do you hear me when I'm talking right, to you? Right. Do you understand what right. I'm going through? And he's like, wait a minute. You're on surface level. Right, right. Come to me. Yes, yes. You know, seek ye yes. first the kingdom of God and all yeah. of his righteousness. And everything will be added unto you. Yeah. You're worried yeah. about friends and people. And you need to be concerned about this relationship. Oh, my gosh, Darius. <laughs> because while you're talking about this, it's, it's intimacy. Intimacy. He's, he is a call to intimacy. And I was just thinking, you know, as Christians, we say we have a you have to have a relationship with God, right? Yeah. But relationships have different levels. Yeah. Okay? So I can have a relationship with my coworker. That's different than me having a relationship with Sharita or even a relationship with my spouse, Jay. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So when you say you have a relationship with God, what are you talking about? But how can I be intimate with my wife if I don't know what intimacy is with the Heavenly Father? Yeah. Because yeah. that, that's and, what teaching, that's what he does, right? Yes, yes. And literally, it, it comes with your spiritual maturity as you walk with him. And you don't, you know what I'm saying? You don't put yourself down from where you are. Right. He's, like you say, he's grabbing our hands. He's taking us along. Yes. So, okay, I may be a child today, and we have a child-parent relationship. But eventually, it'll become brothers. It'll become friends. It'll become bridegroom and groom. You know what I'm saying? Right. And there are different levels of intimacy that come with relationship as you mature in him. So it's not okay just to say I have a relationship with God. It's how intimate are you trying, are you still moving forward in your intimacy with him? Yeah. You know? I just keep hearing like that word intimacy, it always gets broken up to me. Intimacy. Mm-hmm. So, you know, you allow yes. God to see the deepest parts of you and he in turn allows you to see into the deepest parts of him. Like Moses was allowed to see. Yes a part of God that we, you know, that was intimate. Mm -hmm. And that's really what made him become a friend because he hid Moses in the cleft of the rock Mm -hmm. and he said, I'm going to pass by and show you the inner parts of Mm -hmm. him. People people say the hinder parts, but it's really the The parts that are passed before me, Mm -hmm. the parts that have my past. I want to show you that. 
Girl, oh, don't house. let me shout. <laughs> <laughs> what did you oh. <laughs> Yes. Because how do you think he wrote the first books of the exactly. Bible? It was exactly. the first five. He wasn't there. Yeah. yeah. God had to show him that. And that's when he got it. When he was in the cleft. God showed him all of that. Yeah. And he wrote it down. And it boggles my mind when people say we can't know the ways of God. Yeah. His ways are too mysterious, too high. That's because you're not looking. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he said that he will reveal the secrets to us if we. it, it takes intimacy. Yeah. He's not going to show a child something that's going to hurt them. Yeah. You have to grow with him and he will begin to unveil himself to you, but you got to walk with him. And then he starts showing you stuff. You don't teach a baby how to drive. You know what I'm saying? You don't teach a baby how to do contracts or buy a house. You wait until they're old enough and responsible enough to handle that. Then you start showing them new stuff. And, and it so, makes me think of how, like, Bible talks about how the Israelites knew God's acts, but Moses knew his ways. Yes. You know, and that's another part of that intimacy, intimacy. that friendship. Yes. He, yes. he knew God more than just saying, oh yeah, God does this and God does that. He know, he knew God in a different way. You know yes. what I'm saying? And I'm thinking about all the times in the Bible where it says, so and so knew their wife, and so and so mm -hmm. knew their yes. wife. And mm -hmm. Have we come to know God in a deeper way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just yesterday, he was breaking that whole no. He said, no, it's, there's one thing to believe something, but to know something is to have experience. Yeah. It's your experience that gives you knowledge. Yeah. So if you, you can, somebody can tell you something. Like, I could read Barack Obama's uh, autobiography yeah. and learn everything about him. Right. But then when he comes into the room and yeah. he starts telling me stuff, yeah. now I know because I've experienced you for myself. When it comes into it's the room. It's a big difference. Yeah. yeah. When it comes into the room. When you have relationships. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Then you can. Oh my gosh, y'all. I'm about to shout. Yeah. But going back to the Israelites, yeah. I want to say God gave them time, chance, time and time again. He invited them to have the same level of intimacy that he had with Moses at the at the mountain. Yeah. He said, "Purify yourselves," and they were like, "Uh, no, no. <laughs> you go okay. for us. <laughs> we're gonna stay back." That's when they rejected God. Yeah, but God kept going back and saying, "Okay, well maybe, maybe." They, and then they he said, "Well, I want to be your God. You don't need a king." No, no, God, we need a king. And so they just kept pushing a farther and farther away. But there are people. Moses, Abraham, Enoch, you know what I'm saying, David, Solomon, like all of these people who said, forget all that, I'm going to seek him yeah. for myself. Yeah. And that's what we have to do. Yeah. It's, it, the door is open. Yeah. We yeah. can know. Yeah. Ah, it's so good. Wow. That's real. Sweetie. Well, if everybody is saying what they need to say. <laughs> We can close this out, but this was this was so good, y'all. I'm sorry the thing cut off because it was really good. Yeah. But we're here. <laughs> Meet us next week. Oh, not next week, next month. And we love you. Hopefully, you guys will be back with us. Of I know. We love, love this. Yeah, we would yeah. love to. <laughs> All right, bye. Woo. That was awesome. <laughs>